Hello everyone, welcome to the Nova Token tutorial. Um, today I'll just be walking through all the features that we offer and how to use Nova Token. So what is Nova Token? Nova Token is a way that you can create and launch your Solana, Solana tokens, otherwise it's known as meme tokens. Um, we make it very easy to do that. So if we scroll down, I'm just going to walk through the core features very quickly and then we will create a token. So here is what we currently offer. Um, we have a token creator that you can enter your token information, you can add an image, you can attach your metadata, so you can put your uh, social links such as your website, Discord, Twitter, Telegram, and then you can even uh, revoke your authorities, which include the freeze, mint, and update. Uh, we also have a portfolio dashboard that gives you a portfolio overview of a few things. So you have your current sole price, uh, the total amount of sole in your wallet, and how much of that is in dollar amount, and the tokens you currently created in your in your wallet. Um, some other features we offer is uh, managing tokens. You can view, burn, or freeze those tokens in your wallet, so you have full control of them. And last but not least, the most powerful tool that we offer is liquidity pools. And with that is you can add liquidity and remove liquidity straight from Orca and Radium onto, or I should say, from this dashboard. So there's no need of going in and out um, or, you know, outside of these to different websites. It's all built into this tool. So how do we do this? Well, let's get started. The first thing to do is you click create token either in on uh, the top navigation or below here. And when you do that, you can go ahead and select any of the following wallets that uh, you have connected. For me, I use Phantom, so we'll go ahead and log in with Phantom. Now, for this test purpose, I only have two soul in this account or this wallet, um, just for this example. And what we'll do first is add a logo. So what I'm gonna do is just add this Nova Token logo that I created quickly and the token name here, we're going to go ahead and just name this, uh, you know, anything that we want. So for this example, I'll just put uh, Nova token meme uh, in the symbol. We'll just give this Nova token meme. So about, you know, five decimals will leave at nine. Supply will leave at a billion. Description, this is a test. Uh, Nova token meme. Okay, once you provide this information, you can go ahead and click links in media or next. And you don't necessarily have to add social links, but this is entirely optional for you. If you would like to have your buyers view this these links um, when they invest into your token. Uh, so I'll go ahead and put the website here, Discord link. Um, I'll just leave these blank for now just because I want to speed up this process. Permissions, we're gonna go ahead and revoke the freeze, mint, and update authorities. And now when we click preview, it's gonna show you all the information um, that your token configuration currently has. So you have your image, token info, the links and media you added, and the permissions. So this will say yes or no if you have revoked it or not. And we just charge a very small fee of 0 0.3 SOL. Um, so no matter what options you do, if you add, metadata or anything, permissions. It's just a small one-time fee of 0 0.3. So once you agree to the terms and privacy policy and disclaimer, you can create your token. Once it prepares all this information, um, Phantom may pop up to log in. Uh, since this token, uh, since this website is new, uh, it's currently, um, you know, being blocked at the moment until we have more transactions, but what you want to do is just click proceed anyway. It's totally safe, and I'll prove that today. So confirm, save, I understand, and confirm. And once it does that, it's going to ask you to mint your token. So as you can see, we're putting a billion uh, of our tokens. I'm going to click confirm. And now this is to revoke your mint authority. This is to revoke your freeze authority. Just click confirm. And last but not least, your update authority. So once those have all been approved and accepted, your token is now created successfully. So this now means that your token is live on Solana. Now to see that, you can go ahead and click on the Solana Explorer button and also the SoulScan button. 
and this will now show you the token that was just created. And you can see a few seconds ago, this was just created on the mainnet debt, uh, mainnet beta. So uh, here's your proof. And then we can also see this on SoulScan, and here are all the social social channels, and then what we just the transaction we just did. So um, authority, you can see that once this updates, give it a few seconds, you'll see that all the authorities and everything will be removed and, and all that. So let's head back to um, Nova Token. So we have our metadata link. If you want to store this information, you have your token mint address. Now, what's the next step? Well, you could do two things. Um, the first thing is you can add liquidity and have this pushed out to Orca uh, for buyers to, to buy. So how do we do that? Well, we go to Orca here uh, and we select our token and you can paste the mint uh, address here and you'll see it comes up or you can search it by uh, name, symbol, and here you go. It'll come up as you type and we want to use this token, right? So we'll click use. You want to select the amount that you want to add to the pool. So we'll do 900 million tokens and we'll do about, uh, let's do 1.5 soul. It's going to show that we have 0.6 soul left. Um, and total we're putting $235 <clears throat> worth of soul into this liquidity pool. So what we want to do now is initialize this liquidity pool. And again, it's going to ask for your phantom password and you want to confirm this transaction to just allow the pool to be created. Again, you might have this um, phantom message saying that this is not safe, but it totally is. We're just going to click confirm since this is new. Uh, this is why it's happening. So we're going to go ahead and proceed. Confirm again, confirm. And there you go. So your liquidity pool was created already. And now it's just uh, proceed, confirm, and confirm. What it's doing now is adding that liquidity to the pool now. There we go. So it's all set and ready to go. So your liquidity pool was created successfully. It paired Solana with our custom token, which in this case is our meme. We added 1.5 worth of soul for 900 million of those custom tokens. And this is the initial price of each each of each token and here's our pool address so you can definitely save this if you want and now when we go to remove liquidity you'll see now that it has been added here so the total the total soul in all our pools we have about 1.5 soul um, so some is excluding with the fees of course and that total usd for all the pools we have is 233 dollars now if you go to soul scan you can now see that we have no mint authority, uh, no freeze authority, and we removed our update authority. So we currently already have six holders with this. Now, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and open up, let's say, deck screener and show proof that this is actually live and there's people buying it. So there we go. I added 1.5 soul and we're getting buyers right now, okay? and. I'm going to head back and just refresh Nova Token to show you that our portfolio has been updated. And I'm going to now show you that we currently have a few bucks here. You know, it's working. There's buyers. We have seven buys. We're up a few dollars. Liquidity. Um, okay, so now we have the Nova Token meme. Nova Token meme. This was uh, brought in by Orca. And everything's here. We have all of our information. Of course, I didn't add, you know, a bunch of links, but you will see the, after some time, the metadata will be connected to this. It's just because it's brand new. Um, but yeah, so let's refresh here. Let's refresh here. And we currently have six holders. I can then go to Photon just to show you as well that this is live. And here we go. So we have someone who just bought again uh, at $1.56, we have 310 for the amounts of the coin we have. Okay, so now let's go ahead and pull this liquidity to get the money that we just received, right? So if you want to close out your token, I'm just gonna refresh this again. We have six holders. Now, 
if I refresh here, you'll see that the total balance I have is 0.47 sol because we added the 1.5 and you see we have $74. Now, if we go back to liquidity, or actually, sorry, I want to explain the managed tokens. When you come here, you could do two things. Um, since we removed all permissions, we cannot freeze or burn this token. But if you did leave those as um, unchecked, you can go ahead and burn them or freeze them. But I will show you this in the next step after liquidity. So if we go back to liquidity and remove, you'll see that we have currently $248.37 with 1.58 sol. Before it was like 1.49, I believe. Um, so let's go ahead and remove this liquidity. When we click remove liquidity, it's going to now exchange the current Solana uh, that's in the pool with the amount of tokens that, is, that are in there. So as you can see, we started at 900 million, all right, 844, we're going to go click and confirm. Once we confirm, we want to confirm now the exchange of the Solana. And there we go. So no active liquidity pool, pools found. We can go now back to dashboard and we have 2.07 SOL. Now again, there are fees when you create the, the tokens and when you add liquidity to the pool. So after all those fees and the liquidity that was added to our pool, this is what we got um, in return. So we have $325 in our wallet. Now, if you want to burn this token, you'll see that we have 99 million uh, tokens left. So we're gonna go ahead and burn this token. And once the pop-up happens, you have, it's gonna ask you how many you want to burn. We're gonna go ahead and click confirm. And there you go, burn successful, okay. Now that token will be removed from your, your wallet tokens because we burned the rest of them. And that's pretty much it, guys. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was um, beneficial for you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment or reach out to our Discord. And yeah, hope you guys can create your tokens and earn some money. See ya.